lesson three. So today we are going to be talking about converting within the metric system. Now this falls very nicely with what we've learned in the previous lessons about multiplying and dividing by powers of 10 because the metric system is based on powers of 10. So I've gone ahead and made a metric chart which you can see here on the left. Um, I like to teach my students how to make their own metric chart so that they're able to convert easily rather than relying on one that's pre-made for you because you're not always going to have that pre-made chart there for you. So we use the sentence King Henry, so King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. And I have them remember that sentence so that they can remember the order of the metric system. So we have kilo, hecto, deca. The U stands for units, units as in meters, liters, or grams. Deci, centi, and milli. So you can add meter, liter, or gram as a suffix for any of these prefixes, like kilogram, kilometer, kiloliter, and so on, on and so forth for the rest of them, for milla, milliliter, milligram, milliliter. So, part A, they've done it for us, two meters to centimeters, they have two meters equals 200 centimeters, two times 10 to the second power equals 200. Part B, 108 centimeters to meters. So I'm going to take 108 centimeters and find centimeters on my chart. Well, centimeters is under the C, so 108. I'm going to put 108 in there, and we need to convert it to meters. Now, this is where a lot of my students mess up. We need to remember that the, this M right here stands for milla, not meters. So it stands for millimeters, but not just meters. Over here, this U, the unit, this is meters. So we're going to move from centa to meters. So that requires moving two places to the left. So I'm going to take my decimal point. Now if there isn't a decimal point, remember you can always add one to the end. And I'm going to move my decimal point two places to the left, which means that the digits are shifting the opposite direction two places to the right. So if I move it two places to the left, I end up with one and eight hundredths meters. So it got smaller, meaning that we are dividing. So we had 108 divided by 10. We moved it two places, one, two places, 10 to the second power equals one and eight hundredths. All right, there's our answer. Let's move on to part C. Two and 49 hundredths meters. Again, meters, I'm gonna put it under the units, 49 hundredths meters, moving to centimeters. This time we're gonna move one, two places over here to centimeters, which means I'll move my decimal point, which direction the arrows are going, one, two places, we get 249. So two and 49 hundredths meters equals 249 centimeters, two and 49 hundredths, this time it got larger, we're multiplying by 10. We move two places to the second power equals 249. All right, 50 centimeters to meters. So I'll put my 50 here. Moving to meters, two places, one, two. No decimal point, I'll add it to the end. We end up with 50 hundredths, so 50 centimeters equal to 50 hundredths meters. So 50, we're moving digits to the right, so divided by 10 to the second power equals 50 hundredths. Six and three tenths meters, six and three tenths to centimeters, one, two places to get to here, centimeters, so move my decimal point one, two places. Now here I'll have to put a zero in here as my placeholder. We get 630. So six and three tenths meters equals 630 centimeters. Six and three tenths times 10 to the second power. We move two places, so it's second power equals 630. And seven centimeters, oops, got very messy there. I'll 
just go ahead and clear all that out. Seven centimeters to meters. One, two places. Remember this is meters, liters, and grams. No decimal point, I'll add it to the end. Move it one, two places. Put a zero there. So we get seven hundredths. Seven centimeters is equal to seven hundredths meters. So seven divided by 10 to the second power equals seven hundredths. In the space below, list the letters of the problems where smaller units are converted to larger units. So up here, let's start with A. So the small, remember smaller units are things like millimeters, centimeters, um, the really, really tiny measurements that we've looked at on the meter stick compared to kilometers, which can be compared to miles. Those are very large units. So if we start with two meters to centimeters, if we're looking at it, a meter is larger than a centimeter. So that is a larger unit being converted to a smaller unit. But we're looking for smaller units converting to larger units, so we're not gonna choose A. Centimeters to meters. Centimeters are smaller than meters, so that is a smaller unit being converted to a larger unit. So we have B. Meters to centimeters, again, meters are larger than centimeters, so C is not going to work. Centimeters to meters, centimeters are smaller than meters. E, meters to centimeters, meters are larger than centimeters, so that's a larger unit to a smaller unit, not E. And F, centimeters to meters, centimeters are smaller than meters, so our last answer is going to be F. All right, convert using an equation with an exponent. So same thing we were doing up above, four meters to millimeters. So I'll put my four in the meters and we're going to move to millimeters. That's one, two, three spaces. So I'm gonna take my decimal point at the end, shift it one, two, three spaces, fill it in with zeros, we get 4,000. So four meters is equal to 4,000 millimeters Four times 10, it's going to be 10 to the third power because we moved three places, it's equal to 4,000. One and seven tenths meters to millimeters. So one and seven tenths, we're moving one, two, three spaces to millimeters. So I'll move my decimal point, one, two, three spaces. We end up with 1,700. One and seven tenths meters equals 1,700 millimeters. One and seven tenths times 10 to the third power equals 1,700. 10 to the third power, again, because we moved three spaces. All right, 1,050 millimeters. So here I need to put it under M for millimeters, 1,050. Moving to meters, so one, two, three spaces. Over here to millimeters, no decimal point, so I'll add it and shift it one, two, three places. We end up with one and fifty thousandths, or one and five hundredths, either or. So we start at one thousand fifty, end up with one and five hundredths. So one thousand fifty divided by, we're moving to the left, ten to the third power equals one and five hundredths. Or you can add a zero at the end of it doesn't matter. 65 millimeters to meters. So 65, one, two, three spaces will get us, my arrows are really terrible, I'm sorry. Three spaces will get us two meters. Put our decimal point at the end, shift it three places to the left, add our placeholder there. We have 65 millimeters is equal to 65 thousandths meters. So 65 divided by 10 to the third power equals 65 thousandths. All right, we clear a little space here. We have four and 92 hundredths meters to millimeters. So we'll move it one, two, three spots which means our decimal point, one, two, three spots, put a zero as a placeholder, 4,920. 
4 and 92 hundredths meters is 4,920 millimeters. So 4 and 92 hundredths times 10, we moved it three places, 10 to the third power is 4,920. And 3 millimeters to meters. 1, 2, 3 spaces. No decimal point, we'll add it to the end and move it 1, 2, 3 spaces. We get 3 thousandths. 3 millimeters is equal to 3 thousandths meters. 3 divided by 10 to the third power equals 3 thousandths. In the space below, list the letters of problems where larger units are converted to smaller units. So again, larger units to smaller units. So meters are the larger unit compared to meters. So A. Meters to millimeters, again, B. Millimeters to meters, that is not larger or smaller. Millimeters are actually very tiny compared to the meters. So also not D, not C, not D. E is, mil is meters to millimeters. And F would not be correct because millimeters are tiny compared to meters. So it's not larger to smaller. All right. Read each aloud as you write the equivalent measures. Write an equa equation with an exponent you might use to convert. All right. So seven centimeters is how many meters? Let's see. So if we have put seven under my centimeters and that's how many meters so I'll move it one two to get here to my units millimeters liters and grams which means I'll take my decimal point move it one two places add a zero as a placeholder so it's equal to seven hundredths so we have seven divided by ten to the second power because we moved two places is equal to seven hundredths. And here they did the first one for us. It's 2,638. So sorry, I forgot to fill that in. 39 millimeters. I'll put my 39 here. Going to meters. One, two, three spots. No decimal point. I'll add it at the end. Move it three places. Add my zero as my placeholder. We get 39 thousandths, so we have 39 divided by 10 to the third power is equal to 39 thousandths. And 8 hundredths to millimeters, so 1, 2, 3 places to millimeters, I'll move my decimal point, 1, 2, 3 places, and we end up with 80 once we get rid of that decimal point. So 80 or 8 hundredths times 10 to the third power equals 80. And 5 thousandths milliliters, 5 thousandths meters to centimeters, move it one, two spots, one, two, we end up with 5 tenths centimeters. So, Five thousandths times ten to the second power equals five tenths. On to the word problems. Yi Ting's height is one and forty nine hundredths meters. Express this measurement in millimeters. Explain your thinking, include an equation with an exponent in your explanation. So one and forty nine hundredths meters. And we are moving that to millimeters. So you can say we're moving it one, two, three spots. Move the decimal point, one, two, three places. We get 1,490. So our equation would be one and 49 hundredths times 10. We moved it three places is equal to 1,490 millimeters. A ladybug's length measures two centimeters. Two centimeters. Express this measurement in meters. We're going to move it one, two places to get to meters. So I'll move my decimal point. One, two places. We end up with two hundredths. So two centimeters divided by 10 to the second power equals 
two hundredths meters. The length of a sticky note measures 77 millimeters. So I'll put my 77 millimeters in there. Express this length in meters. We're going to move it one, two, three places. So I'll move my decimal point. One, two, three places. We get 77 thousandths. So 77 millimeters. It's a crazy M. 77 millimeters divided by, we moved it three places, 10 to the third power equals 77 thousandths meters. All right, we're all finished.